Welcome to Pat and Perez. In this video, we'll be learning the six pieces gold skirt. So, first, I'm going to start by paneling my skirt. So, at the center back, I follow my dart line all the way to my finish length. So, after doing that, I'm going to measure my center front waist and divide it into three. So, I am marking one third of my waist measurement from the center front so I'm squaring it down to the finished length and then I'm going to label my skirt my center front one which is cut on foot my center front two my center back two and my center back one which is also cut on foot so I'm going to mark my knee line, which is my waist to knee. I'm going to mark it on my pattern and I'm going to square it out to my center back. So after marking my knee line, I'm going to mark my break point line, which is two, three to five inches above my knee line. So for this, I'm going to use the three inches. I'm going to square across. So I'm going to mark one cm beside each panel line on my break point line. The minimum is one cm. And I'm going to connect it to the hip line. I'm going to connect the other one to the hip line also. And I'm going to connect it down to my finished length. I'm going to repeat the same procedure for every other panels connected to the hip line and to the finished length. So my center back two is going to be two pieces. My center back one is going to be cut on fold. So I'm cutting through these dented lines. So I'm going to cut out my panels. So after cutting, cutting out the panels, I'm going to get another paper so I can attach my gold to it. So I'm going to place my center front first, my center front one, which is cut on food. I'm going to place it on my extra paper and extend how wide I want. Here I'm using 2.5 inch. You can go more than 2.5 inch, but you have to consider your fabric first before you extend. So after doing that, I connected it from my breakpoint line to the length 
so I measured from my breakpoint line to my finish length and I also marked the same measurement on the slanted line and I connected it to the hem. So I did it on only one side because when I cut on fold it automatically reflects on the other side. So for my center front too, I am going to be adding my extended go to both sides because I am cutting it to two pieces and it's not on fold. So I extended by my same 2.5 inch and I connected it to my break point line. I did the same to the other part. I measured from my break point line to my hem line and I marked the same measurement on the slanted line. Then I used my curve to connect it to the finish length of the skirt. I'm going to do the same thing to my center back. So I'm going to extend my bow by 2.5 inch. If you notice, I did 2.5 all through. So you have to do the same measurement all through to have a consistent flare. So I connected it down from my break point line. Then I measured from my break point line to my finish length. And I did the same thing. I marked it on the slanted line. Then used my curve to connect it to the finish length of the skirt pattern. So for my center back one, it's going to be cut on fold also. So I'm just going to add it to just one part of this of the pattern because I am cutting it on full so it automatically reflects on the other side. So I'm also going to extend it by 2.5 inch. Then I connect it with a slanted line from my break point line. Then do the same thing, measure my skirt pattern and mark it on the slanted line. Then connect it with my hole. So I'm going to cut out my gold skirt. So here is my six pieces gold skirt pattern. So my center front one, I am going to be adding 0.5 inch between panels and I'm going to be adding one inch at the side seam. So I'm going to add 0.5 all the way down and mark my one inch at the side 